morning, David. Good morning. Testing, testing. One, two. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the message that uh, I have is a kind of been in the making for a couple weeks, maybe even a month. Um, what he wanted me to share. Um, <clears throat> I have, just so you know, I have uh, new glasses, so I have to uh, get used to them. So when you see me trying to do that, it's because I've got bifocals down here that are progressive. And so I just got all the bells and whistles since it's the first time I ever wore glasses in my life. Okay. So I got everything on there. So I just get used to it one time, you know, <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to learn that I've got to turn my head to see straight because if I try to look out the side of my eyes like I used to do, then it's all blurry and, and it's all messed up. So look, I'm learning. You look more intelligent. I, I do. Yeah. I, and I feel more intelligent. Oh, no I'm not, but I feel more intelligent. <laughs> um, so... <sighs> I think the Lord wanted me to share the, this morning. Um, we have, and I, I brought this up, and this is not even a full list. And I know we, we get these every week. and um, But I'm, I'm sure we could fill up pages if we actually sat there and thought about everybody that we need to pray for. Amen. You know, we could have, um, we'd, we'd run out of paper. I'd have to go get some more paper. Um, but that just goes to show you that Satan, the, the power and principality of the air, is at work. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that's right. He's at work. He's trying to steal, kill, or destroy, right? That's what he's about. He's, he's not about anything good. He will lie to you and show you parts of good, okay? But his ultimate goal is to tear you apart. Amen. That's his ultimate goal. And he doesn't care about you one bit. He doesn't care about your family, okay? Because that gift was taken away from him. He had it. He was there. He was amongst all the good stuff. Right? But he had better plans. Right? The grass was greener on the other side, he thought. I can become God. Right? Yes. And now he has none of that. He has no good in him. So we can look at this list and we can go down through this list and, and you know, talk about all the people that we need to pray for. And then we'll think of other ones we need to pray for. And what he's been kind of sharing with me, and I, and I know this, this may sound, this may sound a little funny, but I want you to, I, I want to try to explain it, and I might stay on this verse for a good while to get you to understand what he's been sharing with me. And I'm going to go to Luke in the 22nd chapter. And the 41 through 43rd verses. Twenty-second verse of Luke, 
or 22nd chapter of Luke in 41 through 43. And this is all about Jesus. And, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours. Be done. And then an angel appeared to him from heaven, Strengthening him. I think that is so amazing about what the end of that verse says. Okay? And so I'm, I'm going to talk about this verse a little bit of what I think God is sharing with me. Okay? And I'm hoping that it will help you. There's plenty of times we've prayed for people. Okay? And whether it's ourself or whether our family members or, or whatever, um, and we don't see the results that we want to see. And I'm sure that if you're human, you have had that happen in your life, okay? Um, we, we want, we are very selfish people, okay? Um, I know when my father passed away, I was very selfish. I wanted him back. Because it hurt. I don't like to be hurt. Does anybody in here like hurt? No. no. Um, so we're, we're very selfish. And we want, we want our family and our, and our you know, people around us. And, and we don't want to give them up. Right? So... We, we pray for people, or we pray for ourselves, and we find out that we don't get the answer that we wanted, right? And sometimes we get offended by that. That we didn't get the answer we wanted. God don't care about us. You know who that is, right? Remember what I just talked about? The thief, right? Steal, kill, and destroy. So every thought that you get like that, you know where that's coming from. That's coming straight out of hell. All right? Because God does care about us. He cares about every hair on our head. He says so. Okay? He cares about our feelings. He does. He says so. Right? So... So when we start thinking, well, we didn't get the answer, I did something wrong, or I did this, or I didn't do what I should have done, right? Okay? Well, here's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. Jesus is asking his daddy, Dad, please take this. I don't want to be separated from you. Because that's what it was about. It was the separation where God turned his back and said, I can't look at my son anymore because he's taken on all the sin of the world. That's what he was worried about. It wasn't anything else. He knew he'd have to go through all the pain and all the other stuff. He knew that. He could handle that. It was the separation. That was what he was worried about. Lord, Father, if it is your will, take this cup from me. He, he has never known separation from his father before in his life. Never. And he says, take this cup away from me. Never the less. Not my will, but yours. This is the part we have to understand and not allow Satan to sneak in and tell us well, we did this wrong or we're worthless and you see that's why that didn't work. No, it's God's will. 
We have to understand that his ways are higher than ours. Yeah. And Amen. our job is to pray. Amen. Because that's exactly what he did. Yes. And if we don't see the results, then we have to give that over to God and say, Lord, I don't understand it, but I know that you do. Satan is looking for every opportunity to make us feel worthless. Yes. Yes. I don't know what else to do. I was, I was taught in this church, I was taught that faith, it's in our name, Amen. is the meaning of this church. Okay? Amen. And I don't know what else to do but pray. Amen. Lay it down. That's right. I haven't seen the full results of my back. But I will. Amen. 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 Now, I've said this before. When, when we were going through all the COVID thing and I, I got a I mean, just the the Lord was telling me all the time, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Amen. You know where that fear comes from? Amen. Yep. Straight out of hell. Right? So my God is trying to strengthen me. Yes. Oh, yes. Then the angel appeared to him from heaven strengthening him so we're going to go through some times where we don't understand but I'm counting on this I'm counting on the end of this that he's going to come and strengthen me Amen. now I don't know if you understand it to what I'm trying to explain here, but the Lord has been pressing on me that our job is to just focus and pray and believe in His Word. Amen. If we don't see what we want to see, that doesn't mean that He didn't do exactly what He wanted to do. Amen. Preach it. Okay? I've said this before. I, I loved having my father around. I... He was my best friend. Um, he still corrected me. Um, but all those times that he corrected me, I have forgotten about. Why is that? Because I want to remember the love. Because the rest of it means nothing. But I wanted my father here for another 20, 20 years. And he died at 58. Um, you know, I wanted him around. But I got a word from the Lord and said, do you want him here and never be saved and you'll never see him again? Or do you want to see him when you get to heaven? Now, I had a choice to decide on, right? Amen. So I believed... I believed that I see him in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. And I prayed because the devil was on me after dad passed away for weeks and months. Okay. See, I've got him. Because when my father was laying in John Hopkins and he told him that they told us that it would be just a matter of time. Um, my brother and I had to leave and I laid my hands on him and prayed and just asked him to just accept Jesus. I didn't know what else to do. Amen. And when he passed away, I, I was unsure. Didn't know. And the devil just kept torturing me. And I didn't have any hope. So I asked my pastor about it. And he got a word from the Lord. 
And he said, you will see your father in heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And all the agony and the pain that Satan was trying to put on me went away. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, you can call that coincidence. You can call it whatever you want. I know I got peace immediately. Amen. Peace. Unlike any other peace that was ever able to be God. It was just unbelievable. And now when Satan tries to come with me at that, I just shake it off just like the snake. I know better. I got a promise from God. Amen. I got a promise from God. Amen. That promise is a whole lot better than that snake latching on to me. I can tell you that. So we, our job is just to believe and pray, okay? And <coughs> you know that I'm a big believer in the oil, right? Right. And I keep my oil with me at all times. And he told us to do this, right? Right. Amen. Now, the reason he told us to do this, because it, it's a good thing to do. Amen. Right? Amen. It is a good thing to do. So, he told us to anoint with oil, right? Yes. Lay hands on them, and they well, shall recover. Amen. Now, is that a wish or a promise? promise. It's a promise. promise. It's a promise, right? Bob, Marion... Helen, Ernie, and I know there's more in here. Me, Sandy, we're going to have what we ask of God. Amen. Amen. We're going to be healed. We're going to take a hold of it and run with it. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know why we haven't seen what we're asking for as of yet. I don't know why. But I can tell you what his word says. His word says to believe. And you'll have. Yeah. And he said. In his word. He said my people have not. Because they ask not. So I'm going to ask. And I'm going to claim. Amen. So right now, I'm going to lay my hands over this prayer request. And as I'm laying my hands on this prayer request, I'm laying my hands on all you that need it right now. Lord, I thank you, Lord, thank you, that you are who you say you are, Father. Amen. And Lord, that you're going to give us comfort, Father. Amen. And we're going to claim your healing, Lord. And Lord, we're going to keep claiming it until we see it resolved, Father. And Lord, we're not going to give up, Lord. We're going to stand on your word, Father. And Lord, we just thank you, Father, that you've given us the opportunity to do this. And we're going to do it, Father, because that's what you told us to do. And we're going to believe in your word. And Lord, we just thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I don't know what else to do. That's what he told us to do. Now, when I don't see the results, I want to give up, right? Satan comes in and he says, it does, you, that prayer didn't mean anything. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. I don't know why I got a word a couple weeks ago and I gave it to Sandy because that's what he told me to do. Okay? That's what he told me to do. And she gave a testimony this morning. I can't answer that. Can't answer that. It wasn't me. It was him. Amen. Amen. But if I didn't do what he asked me to do, would she be in the same situation this morning? Maybe somebody else would have stepped up and done it, right? Maybe. That's right. Okay? But he's given me an opportunity. 
right? He gave me an opportunity to share a word of encouragement, of uplifting, right? Amen. Now, I can choose. I always have a choice, right? I can choose to do something with what I think God has given me, or I can choose to not do something with it. And I'm going to stand here before you this morning and tell you whether you make a choice or not, you made a choice. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no middle ground. He is very clear on that. He does not want lukewarm. Amen. There isn't living, dying, and somewhere in here. There isn't that. If you don't work your muscles, okay, if you don't get up, and you never get up off the couch, guess what your muscles are doing? Yes. They're dying. I don't care what anybody else says, okay? It's, it's scientific that you do not exercise and do what you need to do. Your muscles will die, okay? Amen. It's the same way with our faith, yes. okay? We're not going to be lukewarm on our faith. We're not going to do that. We're going to stand on the word and believe what he said. Amen. Mary and I want to see you walk. Amen. And I want to see that before, before our time on this earth. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Bob, your kidneys are whole. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Randy, your lungs and your heart are whole. Yeah. Don't let the thief tell you any different. Right. He says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and he comes that it may have life and have it more abundant. Now that's the part that we want. Yeah. And that's the part that we need. We can't help anybody when we're hurting. I am, I am not good. But I'm going I'm to confess to you that I am not very good behind the wheel, sitting in traffic for two hours. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> and when I hit that sign that said five miles that would take 48 minutes and then end up taking two before I even got on the Bay Bridge. <sighs> My wife was ready to, to disown me. <laughs> so I will confess to you and say I'm not very good at this at all. All right. I've got a lot of growing to do. All right. But I know that. I am going to make mistakes. I will let you down. As much as I don't want to, I will let you down. And I don't mean to. But my job is to ask forgiveness and move forward. Amen. My job is not to dwell in the past. Amen. Because if I do that, that's where I'll get stuck. Yeah. So my job is to focus on why I haven't been healed yet fully. My job is to focus on when I am healed fully. Okay. Hallelujah. That's good. Amen. Amen. That's good. We're going to have what we ask because we're going to ask. We're going to get better at this. We're going to get better at this. Our Amen. church is going to get better at this. Amen. And when we get better at this, we're going to change the world. Amen. And doesn't it need changed? Amen. Amen. Dale, do you mind closing this up? Father, it's a privilege to be here today to, to hear you talking to the minister. It's a privilege to be here today just to be with our friends and Amen. Our neighbors here at the church. And Father, we praise you and thank you for the word we got this morning, yes. both in Sunday school and in this service. And Father, take it, let us take it to heart and, and use it, Lord. Let us be 
uh, your mouthpiece. Let Amen. Let us be your feet. Let us be what you want us to be, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your your mighty ministry around the world at this time that we're living in. Amen. Thank you, dear Lord, that you're sending men out proclaiming and prophesying and speaking what you need to get to with the world. Lord, we just praise you and thank you for all the, the preachers and teachers on TV that Amen. you watch, Lord. And Lord, I just want to close now by saying that we leave here to guide us, Lord, and keep that thief from stealing our joy. Yeah. Amen. Keep that thief from stealing our money. Amen. Keep that thief from stealing from us and always, Lord. Send your angels, Lord, to guard against that. Amen. And help us to protect us, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 If you need prayer, come up. I still got the oil out.